All right, Capricorns, let's see what is coming up for you guys. Oh, Capricorns, there is a lot of uh, this full moon, Capricorns. I want to say thank you to all newcomers. Thank you to my whole returning subscribers all these years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for returning. Let's see what is happening. What is happening for you, Capricorns? Remember, this is a full moon reading. All right, Capricorns, let's see what is happening. So I see you're standing your ground and protecting yourself. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you Capricorns are standing your grounds and protecting yourself from a whole lot of problems that is happening outside of your circumstances. Okay, they're recognizing. All right, and I see you're protecting you and your family, you and your kids. This is going to be good because I see that a whole lot of issues was created around you that affected your um, relatives, your family, your kids, uh, your partner, and you're protecting them. The Ace of Pentacles money is going to be coming in. You're going to be protecting your money. A whole lot of money is going to be coming in. And you're protecting your financial status in the second week. In the third week, the energy of the debt is in reverse. And some sort of a transition between your partner and you is going to be coming up. And people are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of an unconventional situation that was created. In the third week, the Nine of Swords, your worries is going to be over, whatever that was happening and transpiring. Your worries is definitely going to be over in the third week. Whatever people were doing and the dishonesty of other people is going to be coming out and in the third week. So in the third week, expect a whole lot of situation to transpire in the third week. I see you lovers, um, you ladies are, are looking... And it's trying to protect and create uh, some sort of a protection and changes uh, for family member around you. Okay, so you are not standing up looking um, in uh, the um, in the past. You're looking in the future. And I see in the fourth week, uh, some sort of uh, situation um, is going to be coming out with you and your partner. Whatever is transpiring in the fourth week, some sort of issues, problems with you and your partner. It's going to be happening if you're married or in a long-term relationship and this is going to be creating um, or you're not seeing something about a contract or you and your partner. So um, a lot of you ladies seems to be um, not seeing the truth of your partner, not seeing the truth of uh, someone you're in a relationship with and how this person create a lot of chaos in your world and in your life. And it's as if you're not seeing this clearly. So I see a lot of you are protecting yourself and I see a transition is going to be coming up. The nine of uh, um, swords and the eight of swords is here around you Capricorn. So you got to be aware of this. OK, so you're protecting yourself and creating some sort of uh, energies to remove all of your worries. Uh, but you're blindfolded and you're not seeing clear what is happening. OK, and something is happening with your partner, but you're not seeing clear. Then we recognize the two of cups and the energy of the two of cups is that some sort of a new start you wanted with you and someone. Maybe this is not going to be transpiring. Um, it can be, uh, maybe not. OK, so we're going to be after we looking deeper to find out what was happening, what was transpiring and how this is affecting you. In the first week, some sort of a pledge is seeking some. One could be pleasure seeking someone who cares about you could be pleasure seeking. And I see that you are not uh, seeing this person. You're just not recognizing this person. I see a whole lot of you are imprisoned in yourself. You're worried about your financial situation in the second week. Uh, you are just thinking and worried about your financial situation, but transition is going to be coming up. In the fourth week, I see they're looking at details, information, communication, detail, information. They're looking at over you later. So I see a lot of meeting is transpiring. A lot of you could be connecting, having a whole lot of meetings. So you ladies expect to be in a whole lot of meeting or some sort of a family communication. A lot of you are not recognizing that your husband or partner is your greatest enemy or there is someone who is uh, connecting with your husband or partner that is creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue. So it's as if uh, um, some of you 
are not recognizing that is your own family member or your partner that is creating a whole lot of issues and is blindfolding you as to what is happening and transpiring. And you are not seeing that. It's as if you're not seeing that is your home family or your home partner that is keeping you back and dragging you down and you're not really recognizing what is happening. And it can happen because sometimes people will put on a mask and create illusions around you where you're not seeing clearly what is happening. Let's look at the sun people, the people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, we are looking at you and see what is going to be your major issue. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're beaten down. You're beaten down and tired. You are losing it. You are standing back. You need to take some worry, uh, rest problems um, with your sisters, your siblings, your brother problems with your relationship, a whole lot of problems. People are pleasure-seeking and creating a whole lot of issues around you. And you need to rest, rest, rest. So I see some good news is going to be coming in for you. Sun sign people, there was some sort of a problem, issues. Sagittarian and a cancer had created some sort of a problems and issues. Some sort of a good news is going to be coming to you over some sort of a legal issue. People are going to be recognizing and seeing the truth of what was happening and transpiring. Some sort of a legal issue. Um, some sort of a good news is going to be coming in. Some of you are going to be having some sort of a good news over a Libran, a Sagittarian, and a Cancer. They're going to be recognizing that a Libran, a Sagittarian, and a Cancer had created a whole lot of problem. You are going to be successfully overcoming this Libra, um, Cancer, and a Sagittarian that has created a whole lot of problem. Um, the magician is here. In the first week, and the magician is here, is as if your angels or guides are protecting you and is showing you the way out of some sort of an unconventional play and situation that was created. The magician is coming up and is protecting you. So this could be your um spirit guides and that sort of a thing that is really coming in and protecting you, moving you forward in a very positive way. And they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian, the Libran and the Cancer have created a whole lot of problem and you're going to be victoriously overcoming this. So regrets, regrets for a lot of you sun people, people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. regrets, regrets over a whole lot of money, regrets with your financial situation, a whole lot of worries with your financial situation and you are regretting this because a whole lot of problems is coming up for you with your financial status and your financial situation. As we move to the third week, I see so at the workplace or at home, a whole lot of conflict, a whole lot of communication, communication, the nine of swords, a whole lot of communication. But your worries is going to be over because some sort of information data comes in where a, a corporation institution is looking at the details of uh, information and investigating. And I see a lot of group of people are gathered around communicating and looking at uh, some sort of a data and information and recognizing what has happened and what has transpired. So with data and information, they're now looking at a situation and recognizing with the data and information, some sort of an unfavorable play in a bank financial institution or the workplace or at a over a house and they're looking at the details and seeing the truth of what was happening in the last week you men um you men in the last week is going to be recognizing that um your husband or wife or a young woman that you were having an affair with have created a whole lot of problems for you so you men um, it's going to be recognizing that whoever a young woman is, uh, this could have been an ex-wife, uh, your wife, uh, or um, a side piece chick, someone you were seeing, has created a whole lot of problems for you men. And especially you businessmen are going to be recognizing that whoever this person is has uh, created some sort of a problem that is affecting you and your family, you and your marriages. And you're going to be recognizing that as a young woman is your greatest enemy that have created a whole lot of problems and an issue for your marriage. This could be also a child, but it's coming up as your enemy. And they're going to be recognizing who this young woman is. And you're going to be seeing that this is the young woman that has created a whole lot of problems, issues for you. 
and people are now going to you are really looking and sitting down looking at the situation and recognizing the play that has happened and has transpired and it is as if it's a third party that came between you and your wife uh, for you men and have created a whole lot of issues um they are now investigating a young woman whoever this woman is is between the age of 18 and 50 and they're recognizing what this young woman have done and how this young woman have created problems for another person family and for another person marriage all right we're moving on to the moon sign people these are people who were born 6 p.m to 6 a.m all right so let's see what is coming up for you moon sign people you have no regrets. You moon sign people have no regrets. Absolutely no regrets. Something that was offered to you, you're not going to be taking it. It's as if um, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person had offered something to you. Nope, you're not taking it. You show that I don't want it. I'm not taking it. And you are happily leaving the situation and looking to the future in order to create stability for yourself so whoever the story is where we're capricorn man is or was that had offered you something you said no thank you i don't want that and you are turning your back to this man and looking towards the future whoever this man is this man could have created a whole lot of problems and issue in your world and you're now recognizing a healing is going to be coming in a lot of you who were dealing with your enemy whether your enemy is your enemy is now blindfolded and not is and is not realizing what is happening to them so um this is a woman whoever this woman is is between the ages of 18 and 50 is now blindsided not is even it's not even recognizing what is about to happen to this person because this person has created a whole lot of problems for people and their family <clears throat> and uh, has been doing this for quite some uh, quite a long time and have created some sort of a problems where a family now have to be getting back together and putting back the pieces together whoever this person is is someone from outside um the family and has created a whole lot of problems so a corporation institution was not seen who this young person is is as if this person had camouflaged themselves and was pretending to be something now it can be a gemini woman and a corporation institution is now recognizing what this gemini woman have done this gemini woman whoever she is and whatever is transpiring this gemini woman was playing some sort of uh um game okay and uh, um uh, you know whoever this gemini woman is so um is now going to be recognizing that a young taurus virgo or capricorn woman was false and had double um double uh, agenda okay so a gemini woman is now going to be recognizing that a taurus virgo or capricorn woman is false this person is between the age of 18 and 50 was very false and had double agenda and it's as if uh, this this manager of this corporation is going to be ending it and taking it down because they recognize the false height of a young taurus virgo or capricorn person all right so what we see here again some sort of a new contract is going to be coming up for an older woman this older woman is 50 years and older um is going to be regaining some sort of a new contract because they recognize a corporation is now looking at the details and information and recognizing that a young taurus virgo capricorn person was creating some sort of an illusion um to get something and they now recognize uh, what this young person was doing and an older woman is going to be receiving a new contract because they recognize that an older woman data and information um was um used by a young um or access by a young taurus virgo or capricorn person and they're now recognizing of what was happening so i see a corporation institution or someone at the workplace a lot of you older women that has gone through a whole lot of problems and issue looking back at the past and recognizing how um something had transpired you're going to be recognizing the truth because you're going back looking at details details and recognizing the truth and i see a lot of you older women 50 years and older is going to be receiving some sort of a new contract so this is good um what is happening and transpiring um it is really good 
I see um, some sort of a regrets for a cancer. Whoever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring, regrets is coming up for a scorpion and a cancer. I see a scorpion and a cancer could be going to jail for something that they have done. Um, they are now recognizing the role play. And a lot of you have a whole lot of regrets because they're now recognizing um, that a, um, a cancer and a scorpion had collaborated together in order to create some sort of a foul play. And a cancer and a scorpion is going to be getting some sort of a jail time. They're going to be recognizing this in the third week because that is the week of regrets for you guys. Uh, you moon sign people, the third week is the week of regrets where they're going to be, you're going to be recognized what a cancer and a scorpion have created. And I see some sort of a huge huge moment that they're now in mental conflicts uh, worries in prison in their self and could be going to prison for something that they have done okay then we see with a couple's hardship for a couple a whole lot of hardship for a couple and a liberan has created a whole lot of hardship for a couple whoever this liberan is so i see some good news is going to be coming out because whatever this liberan have done and created a liberan a sagittarian and a cancer whatever they have done and created i see a lot of you are having some problems to deal with your family or your kids or your partner and a lot of hardship is here for you and your partner however this is transpiring they're recognizing um that there was some sort of a false play that has transpired but i see you guys um you know if you're a couple that is going through a whole lot of problems you're going to be recognizing this and coming out of this problems because people are going to be recognizing the truth and people are going to be recognizing and seeing what was happening, what was transpiring and how people have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues and people are going to be trying to resolve the situation. So I see a corporation is going to be given um, a new contract to a, tour, a holder, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman, because they recognize that there was some sort of a foul play. And um, what has been happening now is that they're going to be, I see a lot of you are not regretting what has transpired. You're not regretting because a lot of people are going to be going to jail for something that they have created in your world. And I see hardship, hardship for a couple and their partner because some sort of an unconventional situation that was created a lot of people a lot of couples and their partners are going through some sort of a hardship so i see a corporation is definitely going to be given um a, a new contract to an older taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person and i see a lot of you regrets regrets really what a cancer and a scorpion have done to you and how it has affected you and your child or you and your partner in some sort of a way and you really regret the horrible situation that has transpired i do love you guys i gotta go i'm hoping that you guys will return this is a timeless reading whatever you want to come back and listen to the reading um it is good whatever is transpiring a lot of you older women will get a new contract older men you have problems with your marriage or relationship and it's because of a young side piece chick person that created this problem good news is going to be coming in and i see a healing is going to be coming in because uh, a young taurus virgo a capricorn person is not aware of what is happening and i see that um if your boss is a gemini your boss is going to be um, ending a situation and creating a whole new possibility for a lot of you. I gotta go. I do love you. I am saying namaste until next time.